Same size hook, size 12. Stick into the, the dry fly theme. Um, has anybody used body lace? Body glass, body lace. Does yeah. anybody get on with that stuff? Everybody okay with it? I've never used it? Bit wide, isn't it? Sorry? Bit wide. Yeah, it comes in micro versions. Oh. You can get smaller versions of it. And I'm going to... I'm going to give a demonstration of a shuttlecock with it. Now, I do like this stuff. It, it is good stuff for uh, shuttlecock patterns. But you need to put an extra set of uh, colour canard in it to keep this thing, up, keep this thing afloat because the body glass does tend to be fairly heavy. And if you underdo your, your shuttlecock, or your, your shuttlecock then as, a, as a, your, your front post, this thing will go down. It will sink. <laughs> so just tie them in in one place, and I'm gonna grab all of them, and I'm gonna cut them all down on an angle. I'm happy with the delicacy of this one. And then I'm gonna grab it all. Oh, it's actually got to watch with this stuff, it'll spin on you. Because it's uh, yeah. slippery old yeah. So, my shape of my body is formed. If you can see, it's already tapered. Tapered straight off. I've got a couple of different forms of this, this body glass. And I used this last time I came here, I believe, uh, to demonstrate nymphs with. I use it for river nymphs, I use it for lake dries. River dries, everything. I got a couple of different forms. But I got a, I got a, a French form of it that's waxed, waxed lace, and then I got this body glass, hens micro body glass. I do like this micro body glass from hens. It's really, really good stuff. Again, it's the same sort of stuff as the French one, except it's not wax and it's transparent, it's translucent. You can see straight through this, but as you can't see through the. The French one. I'm going to come back up. I'm going to tie it in there. And the same as I would with flexi floss, I just pull it. It's half round. Oh, look at this voice slipping. It's half round. So you do need to tie it in rounded side down. So when you pull it, you pull in the flat side over. To give you a better segmentation, now it will have a tendency. The first turn, it'll be asked, and it there, it'll want to rotate on you. It'll want to go back flat. So your first turn is your turn to get right. Once you've got it, it'll give you segmentation as you come up the body. And you can put tension on this. You can get this body finer by pulling it, but it's. I did demonstrate small limbs with it, I believe. Um, you can get this stuff to go pretty fine for you with a, with a bit of a pull. I don't want it too fine for the size of the fly that I'm using. I don't cut it off. I don't want to waste any of it. So I just keep it on and then pass it over as I'm tying up. There we go. It's not up slightly. There we go. Again, same thing, wing buds over the back. But I watch with this stuff because it's not it's not quite like flexi floss. It will have a tendency once you've tied it off, you'll ping a little bit loose where you've tied it off. This two turns around the silk is quite important with this pattern, with this body glass. Otherwise, if when you cut it, you stretch it to cut it, mm, it'll okay. contract. Mm. There you go, some dark wiry dubbing. Again, off the opossum, same stuff. Mm. Underneath the shuttlecock.
simple yet very effective drive fly cart then. I'll just send it around so you can all have a, have a little look at it.